Ayo, Egyptian, tell them for Guan, eviction. This one, yeah, it's had a bad gal edition. See them gal that contradict. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a video all about my top five favorite foundations. These are mainly all high coverage because that is what I prefer. So if you like high coverage foundations and you wanna know which ones I use and which ones are my favorite, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna go from five to one, so it's a bit of a build up. So my fifth favorite foundation is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. I have two of these. Um, I absolutely love them. As you can see, they're both nearly empty. Um, they're both different colors. So we have the shade Porcelain and Nude. So um, they're both quite light, but they're really good coverage. They're really nice. They stay on all day. Um, this was one of my kind of first foundations that I started getting into. When I, I mean, I've had a few foundations previously, but when I really started getting into makeup, this was the first one I picked up because it was really, really cheap. This is a good drugstore um, favourite of mine. I would definitely recommend picking yourself up one. For, I think it's like seven pounds or something in the UK. So it's really cheap um, and for a foundation. It lasts quite long as well. Um, it's quite an average size bottle. Um, it comes with quite a bit of product inside. So, I mean, that is my fifth favourite one and I would definitely recommend. So, moving on to my fourth favourite foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. So, I only recently bought this and it is almost empty. It's probably got about two uses left. Um, so, this one's in the shade 105 which is natural ivory. This one is really nice. It's quite a watery formula, um, which I'm not usually used to. I'll show you a swatch next to the NYX one, so you can see. Sorry about the writing. The bottom one is the NYX one, and the top one is the Maybelline one. So as you can see, when I rub the NYX one in, it's quite thick, it's really good coverage. I mean, that was only a little bit, and it's really good coverage. And then the Maybelline one is really watery, but it's a really good coverage, which is why I like it, because although it's watery, it's still really good coverage. This one is mainly for normal to oily skin as well, so I'd recommend this if you've got more of the oily side skin rather than dry. My third favourite foundation is... So, my third favourite foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I am obsessed with this. This is my, my top drugstore foundation. I absolutely love this one. So I've got two of these and I've got the bottle one as well. I don't know if they're any different. They're both the 24 hour um, ones and I've got them all in, I've got this one in natural rose, this one in natural rose and I think this one's a lot darker. Um, this one is radiant honey. So that one's a lot darker but um, I still really like it and it's nice to mix in with um, a lighter shade because these two NYX ones, this one's lighter and this one's darker, so I tend to mix them together when I'm using them, um, hence why I have like two of everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like that one. Again, that's really high coverage. That's more coverage than the Maybelline Fit Me and the NYX Stay Matte but not flat. So if you're looking for a really good coverage foundation, which is on a budget, then I would definitely recommend that one. Um, I was a bit of a um, phase over Instagram and, and Twitter and YouTube and everybody was going on about it. So I picked myself up one and I'm so glad because it's one of the best foundations I've ever used. So I would definitely recommend that foundation if you're looking for a really nice coverage affordable so all three of those so far are really affordable the next two are a bit more pricey i will admit they are a little bit more expensive but they are so worth it they are my favorite and i would definitely definitely recommend second is my urban decay all nighter foundation um this one is incredible full coverage honestly like this is crazy as you can see I have nearly used it all because I'm obsessed. When I first bought this, I literally went crazy, pumped it all, did it all over my face. Every day I wore it. And now I regret it because I only have a little bit left. So I use this one for special occasions and I use my drugstore ones for day to day because obviously they're um, cheaper to repurchase, whereas this one is quite pricey. Um, but again, I would definitely recommend this. It's such a creamy texture. It smells nice. It's really nice on the skin. It lasts all day. And um, it's quite drying as well. Not drying as in it'll make your skin dry. But with some foundations, it leaves me like oily. 
whereas I have to use a mattifying um, powder, obviously make it set, whereas this one, it almost sets itself, and so does the infallible, that one also sets itself, but um, yeah, I use this one on special occasions because I absolutely love it, and now and again I'll put it on just give myself a bit of luxury but I really really like that one and my number one favorite foundation is the Dior Air Flash I like this one the most mainly because it's just different formula all of those are liquid ones and um, I don't have any I have well I have a couple um cream foundations and like powdery ones but I just don't like them I much prefer the liquids um based foundations I get quite a different range of colours as well because I can never find one colour to suit my face. It's really, really difficult to find a shade that suits me and is my right shade. So I usually just get a few different ones and then mix either high-end and drugstore ones together or I mix a couple of the same, like I said with the NYX, mix them together. But um, yeah, this one I absolutely love. Um, I love that it's a spray. It's so easy to use. I usually put it on top of our foundation as well, so if I put on a foundation, this one is quite dark, because they didn't, when I bought it, it was first out, and they didn't have many shades, this one's in the shade 300, um, but as you can see, I've just sprayed it on, and it's really, really nice, it's good coverage, this one is too dark for me, that's why I usually tend to put a lighter foundation on, and then I literally spray my face with that foundation, blend it in with a beauty blender, and it's done. It's so, so simple. But that's basically what I recommend. I think it's really, really nice, and um, it smells good. It smells really nice, um, and it's just, it's really refreshing as well, actually. When you spray your face with it, it feels really good. The main thing I like about it is it's such an easy application. You literally spray it straight to your face, but like you can't get much easier than that. All five of these foundations I would highly, highly recommend. I really, really like them. I have a few more that I do like. I have a couple here. I'm not going to mention them right now. I'm going to do another video on this. I'm not going to mention too much more about it. If you want to know more about all the foundations that I have, if you want a video on my kind of foundation collection, because I'm a bit of a hoarder with foundations. I love trying new ones. But if you want to know more on what foundations I use, if you want to know more on a little bit more detail on what foundations I have mentioned, the top five mainly, um, if you want to know any more information on them, then feel free to ask me in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and comment and please subscribe. I've got a giveaway still going on at the moment until I hit 400 subscribers. You get... I actually have them here. You get this brow kit, you get this eyeshadow palette, and you get this brush set. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, then please do. Um, all you have to do is subscribe. So if you're already subscribed, then you're already entered. And I shall see you in the next one.